The next question. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Sahil Nazir. I am from Kashmir, India. Is it permissible to correct the nasal septum of our nose if it is deviated from normal position by birth? A similar question of a similar category is asked by Shahina Patel, homemaker from London, UK. Is cosmetic surgery permitted in Islam? As far as the first question is concerned, that is it permitted that if a person has a deviated nasal septum, it's called as DNS, a short form in the medical terminology, deviated nasal septum from birth, and can he do a surgery to correct it? As far as surgery is concerned, there's a general ruling by Islam, according to the Sharia, that if any surgery which will get you a benefit in the health or is going to prevent any disease or cure any disease or cure your problems, that surgery is permitted as long as the benefit is more than the harm done. This is a general ruling. So based on this, of course, if you have a deviated nasal septum and if you have some problem in your breathing or some upper respiratory tract problem, upper respiratory tract problem, doing a surgery of the nasal septum is perfectly allowed. If you feel that it's not causing any problem and you want to keep it, you can keep it. If you want to do a surgery, it's permitted as long as the benefit done from that surgery outweighs the harm done. There are some surgeries which you try to do surgery and you know surgery will cause you more loss than benefit. In this case, the Sharia says, let a small loss take place to prevent a big loss. So let it be. Coming to the second part of the question, that is cosmetic surgery allowed in Islam? As far as cosmetic surgery is concerned, there are two types of cosmetic surgery. One, which is a cosmetic surgery which is essential or called as essential cosmetic surgery. The second is cosmetic surgery for beautification. So if it is a cosmetic surgery done which is essential for benefit for the health or to cure a disease or an injury, for example, after an accident, after a burn injury or a person has some defect. So this cosmetic surgery, suppose you had a burn injury and you are taking out skin from the other part of the body and you are covering it up, all this is permitted because the benefit is more than the harm done. So this type of cosmetic surgery for accidents, for burn injuries or for cure of any disease or any ailment, it is permitted. The second type of cosmetic surgery is cosmetic surgery for beautification. That means I want to look more beautiful, you know, I want to have a face uplift so that, you know, I am more attractive. So here the ruling of the Sharia is do not change the nature that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you. That means changing what Allah has given you without a cause just for beautification, it is not permitted. So cosmetic surgery only for beautification. If you don't have a disease, don't have a burn injury, don't have an ailment, just because you want to look more beautiful so that, so that you are more attractive, this is not permitted according to the Sharia. Hope this answers the question.